You don't like scooter or not? No, no. I was doing a vlog. And then I just said, boy, look, let me scrap this vlog. Yeah. yeah. But we call them as you tell you. You see them? No. Look at the corner here. I'm in that corner there. Let me see them. Oh my gosh. Do it look like alligators? They are. They usually occur in forest swamps, large rivers, lakes, and over shallow banks. Oh, Typically right. lazy, really but can be quite nomadic when local conditions become inadequate mean? very good question what does nomadic mean you can help me out with that word yeah man nomadic you need to see nomad is to, is to move from place to place yeah yeah like a gypsy yeah annie what's this here I don't know. No, I mean down here. And you can smell him. I can smell him. Is he alive? What's his name? I smell him something dead here though. Shoo. I think he brushed his teeth this morning. Yeah. What's that? Come and see his eyes. Daddy life, eh? That's light on the whole day. For water. Daddy! If you had if you really had to choose to be an animal, Slasara. Which animal do you choose? I want to be a lion boy. A lion? Yeah. I'll do a snake. A snake? Anaconda. 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 She said she wants to be an anaconda. Anaconda. I want anaconda. I want anaconda. I want anaconda. I want anaconda. So you just take the conda. I want anaconda. Yeah. And where you want to be? I want a cat. A cat? Hey, I was watching a, a video yesterday, but oh, you know, know a bird. snake could hardly ever bite a cat. The reaction time of a cat is, is they say, about 40 times faster than a snake. Than a snake. Yeah, so a snake will do that. And that cat done, done bust it already. That cat will bring up Cora, Charlotte. Yeah. This hit Simon, <laughs> some poor, you know, because yeah, Simon, no. let's go. You see how fast she moves to do that? And a dog is way slower than a snake. So a mongoose faster than a cat? Because was he was he one that is beat snakes? Is a mongoose among or something? Goose. A mongoose. Anna. Dialogue. This is what they call the capybara. Dialogue. Hey, I was give you a joke sometime oh. with Uncle Tony boy. We are one of these commercial in the carcass. And everybody tried to catch it, boy. I will give you I'll give you that story and you're gonna laugh. Eh, I'm at it. Flipping a, a, a lad robot chasing down this little. Did you see that? It looks so cute. <laughs> like them wanted to try it. Like a cute like 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 kind of pig way. And I'm fun cake. 
Ah, uh, elephant pig. Daddy. Daddy. Yeah, baby. That looks kind of cute. Dad. You like him? Yeah. Is he flies by his eyes? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I think he wants to let me wear Oh, no, you tell me what it is. Carambula or star fruit or five fingers. Yeah. You're good with your um, that, that carambula is what he's saying. The fake name, but. Carambula, so. never hear that name. Carambula. Yes, do good to remember them things, boy. Yeah. Oh, look how, look how he, he trying to reach it, you know? Yeah. Hey, oh, look how I see all your cousin. Come, 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 come. Oh, my goodness. What name you see, man, that day? We you get on top here? Sydney. Sydney, the Andita. Hey, so I want to take this opportunity. Girls, if all you happen to be watching this video, Sydney, Sadie, Suri, this is Daddy. Tell that I love all your lots, right? And we're here at the Emperor Valley Zoo. And Sydney, we come to see your girl. Sydney, where are you? <laughs> oh, and Sydney, babes. You're looking cute. Yeah. You've been quite in the bag, this. Why ah. is it Sydney? Look at the picture here. What's the name? Why is That's the name they give the Antita. Look, you can show us a picture here. Now, they actually have these in Cora, eh? Yeah. They have these on the Northern Ridge, right? Long time they used to call them dog killers. Um, Matapel. Dog killer? Right? They, they're very slow, you know. They're very slow. Yes, dog killers because they have two claws. And if a dog attack them, they will lie on their back. And when the dog come over them, they just pull in like that and stab the dogs. That's you what know, people claim. I listen to how informed they're so good, right? And how you're dressed up. You know, you're looking like a kind of zoo dog, you know? Yes, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> you know, so, yeah, so welcome to the... So, so yeah. girls, welcome to the Emperor Valley Zoo. I will be your tour guide today. Yes, so let's move along. Behind us is a breadfruit tree. Right? Okay. Don't know if you all have that where you all live. Come see the beautiful token. Or the Mako? No. These are token, right? Like the tooth looks. Do you know we actually have these also in our forest? In places like Matura. Yeah. I'm totally in the morning, you will hear them. But you have to do wow. really good to see them, eh? Yeah. Beautiful, eh, yeah, boy? Wow, go, go tell me the colors you all can see on that beautiful toucan. Alright. Prefers tropical, humid forest. Two to four white eggs are laid in an online cavity in a tree. Both sexes incubate the eggs for 14 to 15 days. Hmm. And the chicks fledge after about six weeks. Can you talk? Hey, check out this one here. Wow. Yeah, it's such a fascinating bird and the colors and everything is yeah. almost you're yeah, almost like associated with something that like that artist piece yeah right? boy yeah. and i'm sure if you look at each of these beaks i'm sure they could never be identical hmm. right even though it's the same species eh? but i don't know it could be a male and a female you remember the tiki house in Disney World with all the birds singing? Welcome to the tiki yeah, house. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You all remember that? In, in... Hey, I'm sorry you didn't make a trip with us. Remember? Boy. Yeah, boy. That is... you, were, you were working. I was working. But you know, looking back, yeah. I could have gotten the time off and oh I count that as one of my biggest regrets in life, boy. Biggest regrets. Because it would have been no problem for me to get the time off to make that trip at all, really. But I only see that now looking back at it. 
That's how that's how in, in, wisdom. In the moment when you you know like you got a new job and you're thinking, Kaylee. Look what this is. Kaylee, where's the name of this food? Come. Anna. Are they following the zookeeper? Always, always eat chocolates. Yeah. Do you know this is what you get chocolates from? Cocoa. Cocoa, right. Oh, look a birdie! Right here. Uh, uh, I'm trying hey. to find you. That's a free bird, girl. I even like. They really do a fantastic thing to keep the zoo ever going, eh? Oh and I had to see for the landscape. Oh, here you want to show something? What's that, babe? Yes. What are you having there, boy? What's going to be throwing him back in his mouth there? What? And then he can flick it back. You see? Hello. Hello, I can hear him. <laughs> I think that's the watermelon. Well, as I see, he probably had to reach between close knit branches to be able to pick that fruit. Mm. So he need that long beak. Come it come like a rod. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Oh, okay. What do we have there, Anna? You could stand on the ledge. That's a albino. That's a albino. Maniko? A good thing, buddy. There's a shadow on the ledge. There's a shadow on the ledge. Right now, I have to go over there. There's a shadow on the ledge. 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 There's a shadow Standing next to the what, baby? The post. The post. What this big one here? Right here. That's a deer. Like Bambi. I look a free one. A free bird is here. Yeah. Is that a free bird over there? Yeah, but all of them would be free, yeah. Them guinea pigs really don't see you no way. Did you see that? Yeah, but of course, boy. I don't like this piece of a lot. He <laughs> trying to eat something? Yeah. I tried to hey, you know look at one day, we use a buggy boy and give you the white chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
Pwede po binagi dyan sa live ko. Pwede na po binagi dyan sa live ko. Let me know when you find it. Friendly purposes, somebody have a pet snake on you. Oh, you mean like that? Yeah. Anaconda. What's that? A what? A python. Ben, I'm going to be on the So, eh? You see it? It's a snake by hand, eh? That way? I want to see a spook by hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. It's smelling too wild to eat, yeah? Boy, I don't think I can eat it now. We'll see you. You feel like you didn't have a silat too? Yeah? Huh? The smell of the place is, is bothering him, so he doesn't want to eat his pie while he's smelling that wild cat. <laughs> There's a zebra behind you. Zebra! 45 stripes. That's how many stripes a zebra has? Yeah, I think so. My teacher told me that. 45 stripes? Yes. And I'm sure it has more. <laughs> I feel like I've seen about a 1 million stripes. Let's count them together. Ah. Well, she might draw a tiny zebra with the stripes. <laughs> Do you know that's how they make copy books, Anna? Mm -hmm. They take these a uh, zebra and they make copy books with them so you could write on it. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. I was just telling Anna that's how copy books are made. They take a zebra and they make pages with it. Yes. This is, this is Thank you. This is a flat line, a yeah. flat line copy book. Like a double line copy book where you're starting. Um, yeah. So you know the thinner lines? They'll usually get like a BBC bright instead for that one. This is for the big notebook. So you get a blank peach, right? You spray the zebra with some water and you just take the paper and you press it against the zebra like this and flatten it out. When you pull it off, it have all the lines. Oh, they gotta, they gotta find that blue and white zebra. Oh, she wanted to know how they make it with blue lines. Yeah. Oh. They gotta find that blue and white zebra. Excuse, excuse, carefully. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I went down and gave me a stripe towel. Now he's called the copy book. Yeah. Hey, watch me. Just call it right now. You know, you see what I want to do? Check out you. Because I'm on the outside and I'm looking in. I can see true. <laughs> see how true. Come here. Come here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm on the outside. Look, these are the same flowers always be picked by Granny. Yeah. I'm a 
And we feed the giraffe. She didn't come to the. No. She probably um, was sick or something. I don't even recall a, a episode like that, boy. But yeah, it's, 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 it's nice to see. Oh, um, no, no, no. I came with um, It was Sydney's school was coming to the zoo. And so it was. Press. Just, yeah. Yeah, like, it's not always easy, but it's nice when uh, you know parents are able to pose and really do something with the chair, never. Yeah, boy. Hey, this is our real food. Real, real nice yeah. Yeah. It's real talented, boy. <laughs> Notice, employees only be on this point. That one below says treats for the giraffes. Giraffe biscuits are sold at a cafe located opposite the aquarium. So maybe they have a certain time that you could come and yes. feed the animals. At 10, 12, and 2, and 4. You fed them when you had come the time? The girls fed them. Yeah, they have a long purplish tongue, yeah. unusual, eh? I was watching a World War II documentary yeah. and, and I see part with some Russian soldiers marching uh, yeah. but they have a kind of twisted march when they were marching eh? an unusual march, it's not a straight foot march it's almost like you're, you're raising your knee to your opposite hip like right knee up to your left hip yeah, yeah. it was a real unusual, I never see marching like that was just the strength in your legs boy ought to be different <laughs> Chalo! Oh, Chalo! <laughs> Do I show some of that? Chalo! Oh, Chalo! What is going on, boy? Hey, what are you saying, boy? You have a nice big house here, boy. Smile. The cheese. That one have a real best house, though. The cheese. Yeah, smile. Yeah. Chalo. Oh, Chalo. What's going on? Anna, you okay? I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to say. Go talk. Hey, Peter. Oh. Tell me what you're doing. I'm doing on that place now. When you're really exercising, it's beneficial, boy. I walk in here, and they like nothing for me, you know. How? Before I had a beach, you know. Oh, good. Can you like that? Let me sit down somewhere, boy. Like when you went by Harry the first time? Yeah, boy. Everything in these monkeys, you know. Yeah, look at ours. Not yours. Where is monkeys? Look, eh, 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 eh. It is a good idea by the sleeve, like a half inch, inch and a half, and yeah, that'll protect the metal underneath it. Have you seen? Yeah, and again, I'll come the sharp edges or the top of the, the chain awesome. link.
I'm on the outside. I love smoking. And I'm looking in. Traffic jam. Yeah, my traffic jam is right. There's a traffic jam. Let's see what I'll lose my hat. The monkeys on display in this enclosure were all brought into the country via illegal wildlife trade. They were taken by game wardens and other law enforcement agencies and sent to the zoo for veterinary care and rehabilitation. Illegal wildlife trade threatens the survival of endangered species, with overexploitation being the second largest threat to what many is, species after habitat loss. What does endangered species mean? So I could endangered species mean? Endangered, meaning they say um, they run the risk of no longer existing. Like if they only had a thousand monkeys in the world, and then a hundred die, and then people steal 900. They become in few, few, less and less. And then eventually they could become extinct like dinosaurs. Hey. If you get a monkey, you'll take one? I would. No. Mm -mm. Long time I was fascinated with monkeys. But now, I don't have no fascination in them again. Honest to God. Hey. I used to really want to be around them a lot and thing. Not again. But as we talking about um, endangered species and every that these were brought from Venezuela. It's a real serious thing when you bring something bananas, right? Like a man brought down some capybaras and like he no longer could have taken care of them and let them go in the Kyrene River. No, them capybaras is a pest. You know? They're multiplying so fast and they literally eating young people fields. You wouldn't like to see what a capybara could do to a, 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 a pack toy feel, you know? What can I feel, you know? Very good, how are you going? I thought, I didn't know, I thought you were asking them to send me to live here. Nobody, you say you want to live here for a week with them? Or you want to live with Chalo? I have a partner you can talk to. I want to say Chalo. Chalo have a big house. But yeah. you don't get to watch TV whole day, yeah? But here what? Check out some others first. Because you might want to stay with them and say, let me go and check out. I don't <laughs> I know you. But it looks fun to be there. I want to try to speak. Yeah. I'm you on holiday. Right. Hey, what a nice time there, boy. Hey, don't you see climbing up there? Yeah, you yeah, do a good job. Hmm? Well, can I actually it? go inside? No, I don't know. Look at her hands on. Hey, look, look, wild hogs. Come see this. Pumba. All of them, the old ass spot. And three days, the little area, you know. Is it, is it, the, is it the wild hogs? Yeah, there's, there's movers in a group, eh? So them do that work together. You ever eat that? Yes, but I can't. So long ago I eat it, I can't really remember the. The trees are that. Hey, when you make the video, that is when we are talking about this a wild hog. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, that yeah. wild hog was tough, boy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this is really a nice place to come on. I have to come by those and all.
Ah, you're in my one hand. Come. I'm not seeing any activity to suggest to doing that. Indeed, they reintroduced this in Trinidad, right? In the Nariva swamp. These killing coconut trees aren't they? Killing coconut trees? Yeah. It's, it's all, ah, they the hard coconut tree. So, yes, they, they, they're beautiful to have around, but like for the Amazon forest, yes? They killed that coconut tree? But originally we had these in Trinidad, eh? You had to explain how it is killed the coconut tree to here. Because I don't know that much. They will start to eat through the coconut branches until they get to the very soft part called the heart. And they love to eat that because it's soft and sweet. But that is how the coconut tree will come to the room. It comes like the, the cut off the the coconut tree. Have you seen these birds, Anna? The blue and gold macaw. They are beautiful, eh? Mm -hmm. That one is coral back to Jado. Them is the Them is coral back to Jado. Who? Them That and I. And you get pelt down in this already? Yeah, but you can see any chimpanzee. Hey! Daddy, mom! Are you eating a pizza? Pizza, boy. Hey, you're a pizza, boy. Come closer, sir. Hey, what is this? You're a pizza, boy. Oh, he hungry. He want food. He calling how them getting food. Come in, come in, come in, come in. Watch your steps. Watch your step, honey. Come, let's go. Come, 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 the man hustling for your food, boy. That one pizza. took me out. Your pizza, too. Hmm? Hmm? Listen. Yeah. Is it okay if I record? Yes, it's a good question to ask. Yeah? Monkeys. You like monkeys? What about the monkeys are like? Must have something about the monkey in your life. What's the life about the monkey? <laughs> Can't do it. Uh huh. What? Yeah. Can't do it. Alright, no problem. What about you? What do you like? Uh, I like snakes. Oh, <laughs> that's my favorite animal too. So, what about the snakes you like? I don't know. I just like how they're colorful. Yes. Actually, I think most of them are very long. Yes. I yeah. don't. I also like the anaconda. Oh, yeah. And that's it's Anna. So that's why you like the anaconda because your name is Anna. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> but do you know the anaconda is the largest type of snake in Trinidad and it's also the largest, heaviest snake in the world. What? That type of snake, the anaconda, some of them could reach as heavy as 500 pounds and over 20 feet long now it's not the longest snake on record it's not the longest the reticulated python is the longest but the anaconda is the biggest mm. yeah and and the anaconda and the python when they're eating their food their jaws could expand very wide so they could swallow food much bigger than their heads so if an anaconda head is this fat, they could swallow 
a pig this fat because the mouth could stretch and go over the whole oh my goodness <laughs> and when, they, when it's actually stretching it's like it all right this is the this is the upper jaw and this is the lower jaw it's like it's walking the food in walking the food in remarkable animal so would you like to have a sneak up as a pet <laughs> no do you like to do you like to touch an anaconda? No, I don't. Know. <laughs> yeah, don't. You also the yellow snake? What? The yellow snake. You also the yellow one? Yeah, yes. I did. It was really cool. Alright, do you know what his name is? Yeah. His name is Mustard. Uh, mustard? Yes. And Mustard is over 20 years old. We got Mustard in 2003. That day. Hello. In 2003. And he was small too. And I used to put him in my pocket and walk around with him and all that. Yeah. Get him accustomed to handling. Right. Now he's... You can't really lift him up as you would like. Yeah. You need more than one pair of hands, you know. You need more than one people to hold him. You know, and he eats big rabbits. Big chicken. But when he came, he was eating little mice. Nice. As he got older, he started increasing the food. In size, size. Start giving him rats. Small rats, bigger rats, and then when you start to get older, rabbits, smaller rabbits, then big. Now he's putting down a 10 pound rabbit. Yeah. So, so y'all will be wearing rabbits? Yes. 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 Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we're wearing the rabbit. Yeah. So, what would mustard eat on a daily basis? No, we feed mustard once a month. Okay, reptiles have a slower metabolism. See, so they wouldn't need to eat as often as mammals <laughs> and birds okay yeah. so a, 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 a snake would eat a, 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 a big rabbit he go to the week easy he go for two weeks he don't go to the bathroom as often mm -hmm. he defecates probably once every 10 days or whatever slower metabolism slower digestion rate it all depends on the environment if it's in a warm environment his metabolic um, capabilities will be faster. Mm -hmm. Okay? He will digest the food much faster because of the warmth. That's why what we call cold blooded is a wrong term. Alright? Yes. 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 That's better. That's better. Like mustard. You like mustard? No. That's better. That's mustard. Like mustard. Like mustard. Exactly. <laughs> Just like mustard. But does Does mustard like mustard? He wants to know if mustard likes oh. to eat mustard. Well, you we can't feed mustard mustard. You won't be able to eat that. But you look like mustard. <laughs> yeah, you wear mustard colors. <laughs> yeah. Your t-shirt looks like mustard. Yeah, you think you're going to eat Yeah, yeah. Um, cold blooded. Right. We shouldn't call them cold blooded. That's a wrong term. It's really called ectothermic or poigilothermic. Turn here. They cannot maintain a constant body temperature. So they, they rely on behavior. If they need warmth, they'll go in the sun and warm up and bask. That's why you see turtles and crocodiles and humans and these snakes basking on a bank of a river or they might come on the road in the night to warm up. That's why they might get killed on the road and all that. They need to uh, absorb the heat from externally. Right. We, you and I, mammals, cats and dogs, have it internally. We maintain a constant body temperature. Reptiles need to um, acquire their warmth through behavior. They will move towards the heat. When they start to get too hot, they move away. Because they will overheat and die. That's why in hotter countries, <coughs> they find more about greater diversity of reptiles and amphibians than in colder countries. So that's why in the polar regions, you don't see nothing like that. That's why, that's why in, um, in South America, in, 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 in warm places, in South, in, in, in the, the tropics there, they have a greater diversity of animals on the whole. And in temperate countries, because it warms the sun. Right. Okay? So the sun is fight, so it's fight sun. But out sun, they can't digest their food without warmth. Them. They can't um, incubate their, 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 their embryos or their eggs. Mm. And I say embryos or eggs because some snakes are live bearers and some snakes are egg layers. But most snakes are egg layers. So pythons are egg layers and boas give birth to live young. So, so, so snakes like. Rainbow boas, 
anacondas, what we call the mackerel here, which is the mackerel is the boa constrictor. Yeah. A live bell. And well, I learned something here today. And, and pythons are herbivores. Most of the snakes, probably about 70% of all snakes, you know, 75%, uh, maybe more, 80% are, are, are herbivores. All right? Many of the, of the vipers, you ever know the vipers? Mm -hmm. Like the rattlesnakes and the gaboon viper? Yes. And all that. Most of them are live bearers as well. But we have exceptions. Like you ever heard of the Mapiti Zanana? Yeah. And the Mapiti Baralsin? Mm -hmm. Right. The Mapiti Zanana is the Bushmaster. The Mapiti Baralsin is the Fodi Right. Now we have scientific names and we have common names. Okay? And we have local names. Some animals are unique because their scientific name is the same as their common name. So the boa constrictor, the common name for boa constrictor is boa constrictor. Scientific name, boa constrictor. Okay? Right. Now, the purpose of scientific names is identification. Because if you are a reptile scientist, and you are a reptile scientist as well, and you are a reptile scientist from Sweden, and you are a reptile scientist from Mexico, and you come and you tell this man, well, the mackerel that we found in Trinidad, you might want to know what the hell you're talking about. But if they say the boa constrictor, ah, we are on the same page. You would know what we're talking about. For identification, scientific name comes in. But every country has their local name for the animal. Yes. So in Trinidad, the local name for boa constrictor <laughs> is mackerel. Mm -hmm. but, but internationally, they, 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 they know that as boa constrictor. So it's an it's a, it's a international common name. But it's also the scientific name. Right? No. The, 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 the Mapiti Zanana is a local name in Trinidad for the Bushmaster, which is known internationally. All right, that's the international common name. Bushmaster. Bushmaster. The scientific name is Lechesis Muta. All right? Yeah. Lechesis Muta. So, a science, scientists from all over the world will know that is the Bushmaster we're talking about. Right. It's the largest pit viper in the world, the longest pit viper in the world. What we have here. And it's in South America as well. Hmm. Some of them can reach as long as 12 feet. They're massive. Yeah. Okay? They are exceptions because they are also egg layers. They are the only viper or pit viper in this part of the world that lays eggs. Right. Everybody or um, almost everybody else are like them. There are other exceptions in, in um in, in Asia and those places. Alright? Our Mapiti Balsen on the other hand is the, is the dreaded for the lands. Hmm. Alright? Very common, more common than the than the, uh, than the, than the um, mm -hmm. live bell. A big female can drop only 30 babies, 35, 40 babies. Mm -hmm. A bushmaster mm -hmm. would only lay probably about 10 eggs, 12 eggs. Mm -hmm. Small to sleep. But big eggs. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's fun and interesting. I have one thing to ask you no problem. before we leave because them girls the no problem. Make a move. What is your advice to people in Trinidad? in terms of if ever you are bitten by a snake seek proper medical attention don't try to put your mouth on you want to suck out any venom because you might envenomate your own self and plus two you're not really doing much of that whatever you take out won't be enough to save you plus you can envenomate yourself if you have open wounds in your mouth plus you're introducing bacteria from your mouth into the wound right all right so that's a <coughs> false thing to do because i always hear also that the best place to go is sandy grandy hospital no. well it's it is the premium place, but every hospital, major hospital in Trinidad, have the antivenom, or they're supposed to have it now. All the major hospitals are supposed to have that now. Mm -hmm. Okay? And here, now listen carefully. If you are bitten, she bitten. Here's the problem now. She will be more danger because of her size. She's smaller, right? Okay? There's some different factors, trees and how long mm -hmm. it might to uh, survive, how long it might take you. If it's bitten, if you're bitten on your foot as opposed to up here. Right. If, it, if it was running at the time, drinking alcohol. Mm -hmm. if, you, if you're ill already, a diabetic, hemophilia. You understand? Yes. If the snake itself just fed, uses banana. Bite. Yeah, Sometimes they give you a dry bite. They just stab you the and they don't put nothing in it. Okay, okay. They just give you a, that's a dry bite. They stab you a dry bite. Right. Very, very often, 
Yeah, you know, if I get capable of warning you, vibrate the tail. Not blow up a rattle, but it vibrate the tail. Like a rattle, single rattle, the rattle. Mm -hmm. Because they're venomous, major functions. First function is to catch food. To immobilize the prey. Second function is to digest the food. Because venom is a pre just is a is a is a modified saliva. Mm -hmm. See okay. See okay. Yeah. 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 Right. It's modified saliva designed to digest and break down tissue. So if this is venom, this portion was designed to, to, to tackle red blood cells, white blood cells, different types of white blood cells, bone, platelets, to work on that. You see, it's breaking down the tissue. So if you are bitten by a venom, so you are technically being digested. Because what happens is I'll give you a hand. If you are bitten on your hand here, the whole hand is full of blood. Because all of the blood vessels have been broken down and all the food coming out and have nowhere to go. Right. Swelling. So it's a preparation. Right. So that when it eats the food, he could digest the food faster. <laughs> so that's why a lot of people who get bitten by mama feet, that's why sometimes, or like dogs, uh -huh. you see actually dog legs begin to rot. Yes. They've been yeah. digested and right, broken right, down. Right, right. And also, and also, Ooh. and also, if the, if the venom, if, 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 if the anti venom yeah. use, yeah. does not agree with you, that's a killing for the venom. Because you have to remember, you have to be specific. Yes. If you use the wrong anti venom, if you use the wrong anti venom, like you use the anti venom for, for Makati Banana, for Makati Bar, so you bite, you're dead. Because the venom, the anti venom, has to, has to work on a substrate. And that substrate will be the venom in you. But if you can't recognize the substrate, work on the kidneys, work on other parts of your body. And then some people may be allergic to the, to the anti venom. Some people might be allergic to the sheep. It's sheep and anti venom, they get it from sheep. They use sheep and horses. I think the best thing you should do is when you're going in the bush, walk well equipped. And be careful, Fall keep boots. your eyes yeah. right. And um, just remember, you have to always keep, when you're walking to the bush, don't talk too much. Observe. Catch you in the bush. Remember, snakes are deaf. Snakes can't hear our conversation. But they can feel vibration. They know. So that's why a rattlesnake is rattling the rattle. On Western movies, they rattle rattlesnake rattling mm -hmm. That is true. The horse can damage them. So they warn the horse. They can't eat the horse because the venom is used for food. But the rattling rattle telling you whoever come in. If you come, I'll bite you. But if it's hunting, do you think it's rattling rattle? Right. No. They don't chase away the food. And they will pick up the vibration of a mouse and know it's a mouse. Because they can differentiate. Wow. The vibration, the lens they know it's too big to tackle. Alright? So this is the thing with animals. You mustn't say that they're bad. They are equipped to survive in the wild. And we go in this India territory most of the time. Yes. We build our houses in their territory. <laughs> we destroy the territory and turn the cycle around. Have them wandering in places where they're not supposed to be wandering really, but we need to get over that. People who build their houses in Marvel and those places. The snake coming in their yard. Because for many generations they're doing that, they won't be going there. Yeah, so, that's their original hmm? Yes, exactly. And then to get the provider haven for them. They might have pets there, they might have yeah, keeping the place clean, they provide a home for them and they go there. And, well, okay, I hope I help. Man, I enjoyable, really? enjoyable. Yeah, What's your name, sir? Very Charlo. knowledgeable. Charlo? Yeah. <laughs> Charlo. You know, I was calling me chimpanzee down there. I said, hey, Charlo, why Charlo? Why well, my son name is Charlo. <laughs> it's when you see it, really you. you. <laughs> when you make sure they're clear that yeah. <laughs> so this, this man not related to Charlo, do so. <laughs> What kind of animals are you looking at here? Oh, these are called the Cora Takarans. Cora? <laughs> <laughs> you 
Gakora Kakara wearing a blue hat and a Powerpuff red? Girls jersey. So what a red thing? It's got a diaper, darling. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, what, what they do is they have a special screen here and only really smart people can see the lion. Yeah, Wait, look at that, look at that big one over there now. You might start to see after oh white my goodness. Because you're smart, eh? mm -hmm. yeah, he about to row, eh? Yeah, boy. Where is it? Wait, a lion is really a magnificent creature. Can I see through your teeth, eh? No. It's just a tiny game. She want to look through it to see if she's seen it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yes, boy. Amazing, really fantastic pictures, eh? If you spend your, if you're intelligent, you could see this lion inside of here. Yes. Look at how you, wait, you're not watching you, Ola. Wait. Oh, and look, look at baby one in the back there too, boy. You yeah. seen it? Yeah, look, I want to see it. Too. Yeah. Did you see it? Yeah, boy. Okay. Did you see it yet? Oh yeah, look at me the back there. Look at me the back there. You really didn't see them. You see? You get smart, you girl. See? You get smart. <laughs> and you wasn't seeing it all the time. Right. And are you seeing it now? He probably wondering how to get past this fence way. I see some nice little food here, but. Yes, I think he's smelling us. I see some curry chicken there, boy. Hey, yeah, boy. He looks small, do you not, eh? Amazing, eh, boy? War hero. Look refreshing, eh? Oh, let's go river after. The scene in the flamingo pond is green because of algae. That's how you pronounce that word? Yeah, algae. Al algae. This is allowed to grow because the flamingos are filter feeders. It forms part of their diet and helps maintain what their color. Look at these beautiful flowers. 